So I went down here in my cellar and this fluorescent fixture is not putting out a lot of light. The bulbs are all burned out. So rather than buying new bulbs, I went out and I bought myself LED replacement bulbs for it. So this is going to be a quick little video showing you how I'm switching over these fluorescent tubes to use the LEDs. So I got the fixture down. I'm going to take uh, the old tubes out. You want to dispose of those properly. I'm going to access the light fixture from the cord end. This one little screw right here. Take that out. And then open this up. You could take the other side off, but I just find it's easier to do it this way. And so these are the instructions that we're using for it. You want to make sure you follow these. But the big thing is this particular fixture is a lot of different LED lights you can get. There's some that you don't even have to switch out any of the wiring. You can just use it for the ballast. But these are very old and the ballast is very old. So um, I really couldn't find fixtures that would do that. So this is the LED tube. And this is called a single end, which means that you power it from one end of the tube. A regular fluorescent light, you actually power it from both ends. But what we're going to do is we're going to be redoing the wiring so that the power comes just to one end. And it's got two little plugs, so it's power from one end into both sides of that. And to do that, you need what's called a non-shunted cap. And a non-shunted cap, you can see it's got two wires on it. If it was a shunted cap, it would just have the wires coming into one side. And you need these two wires because, like I said, you got to power one end. Uh, you got to power each of the pins, and each one of these wires is going to be able to power one of those pins on the end. And I always wire this end with the single-ended tube because that way I know that the end of the tube that's powered is near the power cord. Okay, so we've got this. We've got it all disassembled now, and let's cut into some of the wiring. So all I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut the wire. Just cut. Of course, it's disconnected. No, it's disconnected and not plugged in anywhere. We're just going to cut the wires here, cut the wire here. And these are directly powered. So we're going to actually, this is the power cord, the line coming from the power cord. We're going to cut this. Like that. The instructions actually say to take the ballast out. I actually am just going to leave it in there. Um, I don't feel like throwing out the ballast. It's not going to do any harm. It's not leaking or anything. So I can just kind of leave it tucked in here. All right. So now that we got the wires all disconnected, we can start to rehook it back up again. Get this rat's nest out of here. Okay. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to just take one of the wires from one cap, one wire from the other cap. We're going to strip these wires. We're going to strip one of these wires and then we're going to tie it together and then we're going to do the same thing with the other wire with the remaining wire here and connect it to this wire So now, with all that done, I'm just going to make sure all the wires, we're going to tuck all the wires back in. Make sure 
no wires pinched. get the new tubes in and we'll see what it looks like all right so we're gonna just install the, the new fluorescent tubes i got the fixture back up and uh on these once again it's this end is going to be powered because that's where the cord is and on the tube you can see there's electronics on this end this is the end that's powered so this has to be installed in here so you just install it just like a regular fluorescent tube you want to turn it here so the LEDs are pointing down. Some people have complained that it's really, if it gets too bright, you actually flip the tubes around and have the LEDs pointing up into the reflector and that's supposed to soften the lights. But I kind of like the way it looks coming down. So let me just turn this on and see uh, how it works. All right. We're good to go. Well, you can see it wasn't very difficult to do. The light bulbs are pretty inexpensive. A lot of online retailers, you can go to a local home improvement store as well to get them. I don't know, the bulbs were probably um, seven, ten dollars each and um, an easy repair and brightened up the basement. Thanks for watching.